Hey friends, welcome back to Nearly Sane Games. Uh, we just got some, I'm Neil, and we just got some uh, Tales of Aria product in. So uh, we're going to be doing a, a few sealed pools and see what we can do with what we get. Uh, so let's start out by uh, cracking some packs. Ball lightning, there we go. A Seek and Destroy, starting out with a Majestic, that's pretty good. Another ball lightning, uh, an amulet of lightning. It's a foil ball lightning. All right. All right. Interesting. Yeah, let's see here. Buzzbolt. Ooh, a sigil of suffering. That's gross. Bolt and shot. And a lightning surge. And another amulet. Whew. I'm getting. Amulet City here. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Lightning Press. That's always a fun one. An Awakening. Another Majestic. And a Snow Under. And an Amulet of Ice. Man, this is going to be the all amulet all the time. Earth. Snapshot. That's interesting. Frost Fang and a Frazzle. And a coat of frost. We finally got an equipment. Alright, well, I do like that equipment too. Let's see if we get more amulets. Two bites. Another ball lightning, like those. Singeing steel blade. And some runaways. All right. And our last pack. It's Weave Lightning. Sting of Sorcery. Man, that's a good one. Embolden and some Suede Hides. Interesting. Well, let's uh, take a few minutes and see what we can uh, sort this out and see what we get. All right, now that we got things sorted, let's take a look and see what we've got. Uh, let's take a look at Old Him first. Uh, Old Him is interesting. We've got uh, a lot of red attacks. So look at all these red snow wonders. Uh, I think that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, the mulches are a little less exciting. Uh, Entangled is not very, very good. A uh, couple of thumps here. Uh, a glacial footsteps. I, I would like to have more of those if we're, uh, this is the, the really big attack. This is uh, big damage trying to come through. Uh, we've got a, a few of the auras, uh, a few red, a, a few yellow. Uh, these will help pump up the attacks. Uh, Awakening, which is is uh, a really interesting come from behind card. I like that, and an embolden. Um, so these are nice, uh, and it would be tempting to say, uh, "I've got all these cool red attacks. Uh, maybe this is where I want to be." Uh, the problem is, old hymns attacks are expensive. And if we're going to, like, I like having a few red attacks. Um, a, a red thump is nice. But uh, what I'm really looking for is to have the blues to support it. Uh, we do have some, some blues in our lightning pool, but that is not where Old Him is going to be. He's going to be ice and earth. And while we have a few of them, uh, they're not necessarily... Uh, cards that I want to run, and we we only have uh, a couple of uh, blue cards in our actual guardian pool. I don't think Old Him is going to be the target that we want to do. So I'm going to put him off to the side and say just no. Now Briar, uh, <laughs> Briar is looking pretty nice. Uh, if we take a look at all of these cards, 
all of these cards are providing arcane damage. Uh, that's not even considering our Sigil of Suffering, our Sting of Sorcery, and uh, there is, and, and then uh, our Rites of Lightning is kind of a uh, arcane damage payoff card. It gets go again if we have uh, dealt arcane damage. And if it was fused, it also gets arcane damage. Um, I, I think, uh, now here's a scary part. Uh, we, we do have a lot of things that give arcane damage, but we got a pile here that is uh, our Inspire Lightnings that do two and three damage, arcane damage to hero, if we can fuse it. And uh, fusing and sealed is, it, it's going to be unreliable. Um, there's just going to be hands that, uh, since you're not building from the ground up uh, necessarily, there's going to be misses that you're going to have that you're just not going to be able to get that fusion. Uh, and in that case, Inspire Lightning is a dead card. Uh, and that makes uh, this pool much smaller uh, as far as kind of guaranteed arcane damage goes. Uh, these things are, are uh, rights of replenishment I'm not real excited about. And Stir of the Wildwood is uh, only okay at best if you can get it fused and do the arcane damage, then, it, then they become pretty powerful. But uh, uh, I think that um, this Rune Blade deck would be uh, pretty good, uh, but I don't think this is going to uh, be good enough uh, against the mirrors. I think that the mirrors are going to end up killing you. Um, but man, let's take a look at our Lexi. Uh, pool. Uh, this has me very excited. Uh, all of these arrow attacks, uh, a huge amount of arrow attacks, and most of them are yellow and red. And that is, um, this, this is going to be really good. Uh, I don't like that we don't have a lot of pump-up spells, but I think we have uh, kind of a plan for that. Uh, and I'll, I'll, we'll get into that with some of our other cards. But uh, we're talking about four and five power cards uh, for the most part. These Blizzard Bolts are, are going to be unfortunately bad unless we can pump them up, but those can be fuel for other things. Uh, four and five powers, uh, when we dominate them, are, are definitely going to give us some, some of that uh, leaking damage that we want. And uh, we've got some snapshots here. Uh, Bolt and Shot, and our Seek and Destroy, uh, which I think we can put to good use. I think that this will be uh, pretty powerful. We've got an Overflex in there to pump something up. I think we've got a lot of potential here, uh, especially when we go into our Lightning Pool. Um, we don't have Electrify. I don't think that this is going to be... If you don't want to play that, we don't have a good set of follow-up cards, so I don't think we're going to be focusing on giving our cards uh, go again. Our focus is going to be on dominating. Uh, we have a lot of arrows available to us. Uh, I think we should have an arrow almost every turn, um, which, which would be good, and we should be able to uh, dominate it. These are all one cost, so a yellow will let us uh, put it in arsenal and uh, dominate, and uh, we don't have good follow-ups if we get go again on those arrows, uh, Heaven's Claws, Shock Strikers. Shock Strikers okay, but uh, Heaven's Claws is not the greatest. Uh, what I do like is our go again package for lightning. We've got all of these ball lightnings, which are going to make our arrows better. Uh, we, can, we can play those for free, and our arrows will get plus one when they hit, because we're going to give them all dominate, and that's going to help us leak more damage over. And this is another thing that they have to block. Um, you know, a, a regular ball lightning will deal uh, two damage for the blue, three damage, and four damage. They block for one less, but that's going to pull a card out of their hand, which is what we want to do. Lightning surges again. Uh, lightning surges are a little complicated because we got to put them in our arsenal, but uh, I think it's it's uh, pretty possible to put it in your arsenal. Since it costs zero, we can play it with go again, uh, flip another card, flip another arrow in our arsenal, and then fire that off. 
and I think most of the time we're going to have an empty arsenal at the end of our turn. But these are, are going to give us a lot of opportunity to throw that first uh, attack out and then be able to follow up with a dominated arrow. Uh, Amulet of Lightning, I think, is uh, one of the best amulets, but uh, Go Again is going to be... I'm not sure how much that, that's going to be used, but a blue pitch, uh, I think we'll probably play some of these. Uh, Weave Lightning, uh, It this is going to pump up the next Lightning or Elemental attack, which I, I, it'll be okay. And uh, if it's fused, it gets to go again. I'm not sure how many times we're going to hit that, but uh, another blue pitch and a pump. I like uh, having random pumps, make sure that we get uh, our on-hit effects uh, for these things, and this will, uh, the plus one will be helpful for our our uh, our, our three damage attacks um, to get them up over where we need to be. Uh, we'll take a quick look at our Earth Pool. We're not going to be using it because uh, we're going to be sticking with Lexi, but uh, you can see uh, it's not so great. Uh, we don't have a lot of blues to uh, to feed old him, and uh, I mean a, a couple of reds in there for some bigger attacks. But this is just not not enough fuel for what we need. Uh, we do have one Earth Lore Surge, which I do like, but uh, I don't think that that's going to be relevant. Uh, taking a look at our ice actions, uh, Polar Blast. Um, the blue is not great. Uh, putting this in our arsenal, I prefer not to do that. A Winter's Grasp, uh, it's only a six attack, uh, but you know, this might be just what we need on an off turn. Um, Icing Encounter is a blue, so at least it feeds some, it can fuel something. Uh, Winter's Bites, they're uh, they're good to hold on for, for the fusion, and uh, what, what I would like to do with these is uh, potentially fu fuse a card and then be able to play this afterwards to maybe pull another card out of their hand. Chill to the Bone. Uh, again, we're going with Dominated Attacks, so uh, this might be, actually be relevant. We'd probably Chill to the Bone, uh, an arrow that we shoot, and then uh, get some Frostbite tokens on them. Uh, Amulet of Ice. Uh, again, not real excited about that, but uh, uh, Weave Ice, um, uh, again, this, this can give our next attack Dominate if we can fuse it, uh, and then maybe we go with the, the plus one instead. Um, potentially some good things here. Uh, we don't have much of equipment. We got Runaways, we got Coat of Frost, uh, both of these we can use, the, the hides we can't use. But uh, overall, I think we're good. Um, Red Rejuvenate, um, probably use that. Invigorate, probably not. Um, entwine Lightning and Entwine Ice. Um, probably not. Um, maybe Entwine Lightning, if we can get another go again out of that. Uh, I, I'm not sure that that's uh, going to be the best for us. I won't include this if I don't have to, I don't think. And then... Uh, a four power dominate if we fuse it. Uh, not the best, but maybe maybe that goes in there. Uh, again, rejuvenate I think is going to be kind of a secret weapon for uh, we have a lot of leaking damage in this format, so uh, being able to have something that give us some health back I think will be a big plus. Um, so that's the direction we're going to go, and uh, let's put it together and see what we get. All right, I don't know what to tell you, friends. The more I look at this pool, the more amazing it gets. Um, we have uh, 10 Lightning Fusion cards, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Ice Fusion cards. Um, we're going to ignore the Ice Fusion. We're just going to take a loss on that. We're just going to, uh, because we have uh, 10, I think, relevant Lightning cards that we can run here. Um, and then we're going to throw the Rejuvenate in there as well. So our plan is, every turn, throw a dominated arrow at our opponent, 
work on leaking over that, that uh, extra damage. And when available, we will use a lightning card to uh, with go again to uh, spread our damage out a little bit and uh, potentially give more damage to our lightning arrow. And, and again, we're this is all about leaking damage. And uh, I think our dominated arrows uh, with a, a few little buffs here and there uh, is really going to make this uh, a, a very difficult deck to play against. So, uh, and, and we have our ice arrows, but uh, we're not going to fuse, we're not going to worry about fusing uh, ice at all. Uh, having all lightning will get us a little bit more consistent, and uh, this is what we're going to be uh, trying to do uh, in general. And uh, I'm really excited to give this a spin. So uh, let's uh, let's shuffle it up and and uh, play a few hands with it and and see if it does what we want it to do. All right, um, let's see how this plays. Now, since we're uh, always looking to get in that uh, little bit of extra damage, uh, we're always going to want to go first in this format. Uh, that's that's going to be, uh, if we're Briar, we're trying to get an arcane damage. If we're uh, old him, we're trying to get pushed through some with some big dominate attack. And uh, with this, our Lightning Lexi build, we are going to be working on dominating everything. So uh, we're going to go first. And uh, let's see what we have here. Okay. All right, we can make this work. Uh, we're going to start out with our ball lightning. Um, this is going to get blocked. Uh, and there's probably a case to be made that we save this for next turn uh, because we want to get that extra chip damage in. But uh, we're going to send it over this turn because we've, we've got a lot of things going for us here. Uh, we're going to use the blue pitch. Uh, and we're going to use the first one of that to load our flake out using shiver. We're going to give this dominate until the end of turn. Uh, then we're going to uh, use the next pitch to overflex and give our next arrow attack plus four. And then we're going to fire this arrow with our last resource. Uh, this is going to come over for eight plus one damage extra. Uh, this is probably going to be blocked with a, uh, a three block. Uh, and we're going to get uh, six damage over, right to start with, and uh, that's really great. Um, uh, really get, great because that's kind of unavoidable damage. And let's take a look and see what we have next. Ooh, seek and destroy. Um, so, yes. This is a, a, a pretty good time for this. Um, this Rejuvenate is going to not do well for us, but uh, we can do everything else we want to do with this. Uh, we're going to start with our Seek and Destroy. The next arrow attack this turn gains plus three, and if this hits a hero, at the beginning of the next end phase, they discard all cards in their hand and destroy all cards in their arsenal. So they're not going to be able to arsenal anything after this turn, after their turn, which is fine. Uh, it's it's not a super great benefit, but the plus three we'll definitely use. And we're going to uh, use a, a yellow pitch to load up using Shiver, uh, giving our Frazzle Dominate. And then we're going to fire our Frazzle. Uh, and that's going to come in for five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'm not going to be able to fuse that, but I think that's fine. We've got eight Dominate. Uh, this is going to be another chunk of of damage that's going to come through. Uh, we're going to get this effect off, and uh, that is going to be uh, great for bleeding over that damage. Now this Rejuvenate is uh, is fine, but we don't want to fill up our arsenal spot. We want to keep that open for Shiver, so we're going to keep this in our hand, and we're not going to arsenal a card. And that's going to be kind of a theme going through here. Uh, there are some Lightning cards that maybe we'll arsenal that we can get out of there. Uh, pretty easily, but uh, we're going to want to kind of keep our arsenal a little bit clear so that uh, Shiver can do its work every turn. Uh, so we've got some, some things going on here. So we could probably uh, get this Frazzle going and fuse it 
and then play the Lightning Surge, and then play uh, our Rejuvenate. So I, I think that that's uh, pretty good and probably better than using this Weave Lightning for other things. So we'll pitch three. We'll use one of it to put, to use Shiver to put Frazzle in our, um, in our arsenal. We'll play Shiver. We will fuse it using the lightning action. Uh, so this is coming in for four dominate, which uh, a little bit of um, extra damage. And since it was fused, if it would deal damage this turn, then it deals that much damage plus one. So coming in for five, essentially, uh, we should probably get that to hit. Uh, then we could play lightning surge for free. Uh, this is an easy block, but um, this will uh, this will grab another card from their hand if they decide to block it. And then we get to rejuvenate. Uh, there's a lot of that bleeding damage coming through. Uh, we get to play this as an instant. We already have the resources available to us. We use two for our frazzle and then lightning surge is free. So we have one left over. Uh, so we can gain three life. Uh, this was uh, excellent. Uh, let's try another hand. Uh, snapshot doesn't doesn't work real great with what we're doing, so maybe we'll use that for pitch. Uh, we've got a frazzle and a ball lightning and and a lightning surge. I, I think that all of this stuff is uh, is pretty okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, we couldn't use our, our Lightning Surge last turn because we, we did not have uh, go again with that. So we are, we should be down a card. Oh, I got to pay, pay closer attention to that. All right, so we can, I think the, all right, here, here's the play. We'll start off with the Ball Lightning. Uh, really wants to be blocked and we'll give our other attacks a little plus. We're going to pitch our snapshot to load up our frazzle and uh, we're going to fire it dominated and uh, we're going to fuse it because we have a lightning card and if it was fused uh, attack would deal damage this turn deals that much damage plus one so this is going to come in for uh, six and then one more uh, from ball lightning uh, since it's dominated, that's probably going to hit for five, and then we'll get the uh, two extra bonus points, and then we can uh, arsenal or lightning surge. And that'll be pretty good. And then we'll come over to this turn. Man, this, this does everything we want it to do. Uh, we're going to start it off with uh, our lightning surge is actually face down. We get to flip it at face up with Lexi's ability and give it go again, but it already has go again. So, because it's coming from Arsenal, we're going to throw that out there. Uh, it could be either free damage or um, it could be pulling another card from their hand. Either one we're pretty happy with. Uh, and then we have uh, a little bit of choice, but not really. Buzz Bolt and Frazzle are both kind of the same card. Uh, but I think I want to kind of hold on to one of those. So I'm going to pitch my Chilling Ice Vein and we're going to let's load up our Buzz Bolt and fire it off with Dominate and we'll fuse it. So it's coming in for four with Dominate but with the fuse it will give it an extra damage if it hits. Uh, and then we can we're going to put Heaven's Claws in our arsenal for next turn. Uh, things are really kind of going well for us here. I think this will be uh, pretty nice. Unless we only get red. Well, first thing, we're going to use Lexi's ability, and we're going to get this Heaven Claws, uh, give this Heaven Claws go again. And uh, I think I'm going to pitch a Chilling Ice Vein to fire this off. Uh, just a three damage, but uh, it's coming in with go again because of Lexi's ability. Uh, this will allow us to... Uh, pitch a buzz bolt or pitch a frazzle, load up a buzz bolt, fire it with dominate, and uh, we have a lightning card to fuse it. 
Um, so it's coming in for five plus one. Uh, dominate, uh, a lot of bleeding over damage. And then this, this uh, lightning action can go in our arsenal face down. And uh, at the beginning of next turn, we're going to flip it over and just keep some amazing pressure on. And look at this, some, some blues, and we got a, a red arrow for us. <laughs> this deck is doing everything we want it to. Lexi's going to flip this over, give it, go again. Uh, let's pitch, uh, let's, well, I guess it's going to be a blizzard bolt. We've got two of those sitting here. So this is going to come, well, before that happens, uh, we're going to send over a ball lightning, which is going to give all of our attacks plus one. Then we're going to use that blue to uh, fire off this shock striker. Um, again, we have two floating here. Uh, if this hits, we're going to pump it up because that's going to deal an extra damage to him. Um, and if we get any damage through, we get a bonus damage. So there's a lot of leaking damage to come through here. Uh, and then we could pitch our other uh, Blizzard Bolt. Uh, and this had to go again because of Lexi. And uh, we're going to use Shiver to give Flake Out Dominate. And then fire that off. Uh, five coming over uh, with a plus one if it hits. Uh, five with Dominate. Uh, yeah, this is, this is some... Excellent damage uh, firing over uh, from Lexi, and this is going to be hard to block, and uh, we're going to get a lot of uh, little leaking damage coming through here. All right, and then we have... Uh, so, Snapshot... I, snapshot is kind of a build-around card, and I, I, we're just not built around it, so I'm less excited about it. Um, we've got Flake Out, which is a nice fusion card. Uh, Bolton Shot's not very powerful. Uh, so I think what's going to happen is we're going to first start off with Ball Lightning. Uh, we're going to pitch our Bolton Shot and uh, load up our Flake Out with Dominate and then fire that off. Coming over for six, or coming over for five plus one uh, if we hit that. And again, uh, we're not going to arsenal this. Uh, we don't necessarily, uh, Shiver's ability is so good giving things dominate that uh, we want to kind of keep that that free. And um, we're probably not going to get a, uh, a, a go again from this uh, shooting, trying to shoot two arrows. So we're just going to keep this in hand for now. And uh, draw back up. And once again, we're ready to do some uh, pretty gross things. Um, oh, well, here's the one time that, uh, well, here, here's the issue. Uh, snapshot will let you use your, uh, your bow again, uh, but Snapshot does not have go again. So, uh, it really kind of hurts us into as to what what that's going to do for us. Um, we can give Dazzling Crescendo go again, uh, but then we don't have anything else in our hand to use that with. So I think we're just going to... Um, hmm... Uh, I think we're just going to fire off Dazzling Crescendo. Um, we can fuse it and give it go again. That's really not going to do much for us. Uh, and, and then we can give it a, uh, an extra plus one um, to, again, get, get some of that damage coming through there. Uh, and then we'll try, you know, one more hand this... This deck is doing amazing things. It seems to do everything that we want. Um, and all of these arrows are elemental arrows. So uh, we can use this. See, here, here's where this can kind of work. Um, uh, it only kind of works, though. Uh, so... Yeah, uh, if we could potentially fuse um, 
fuse this, then weave lightning could give it go again. But that's, we need the weave lightning to make it fused. This doesn't work great. So we'll just uh, give this dominate and fire off uh, a four power arrow. Uh, don't forget to pop your coat of frost here to hand over uh, a uh, frostbite token. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd be real happy with this deck. This deck seems to do everything that Lexi wants to do in a lightning build. Uh, we got to fuse a lot, a lot of times when we wanted to. Uh, a lot of times we fused when we didn't want to. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't really give us uh, all the advantages. What you want to get out of this and considering that uh we wouldn't be fusing uh like a lot of times the fuse wouldn't really benefit us that much that means that we have a lot more cards available to us for blocking um and uh two and three blocks we, we definitely need to block in this format uh so those are all important but just the massive quality quantity of red and yellow arrows uh really made uh, made this deck tick, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, that's it for today, and uh, until next time.